Okay, taking another look at the project, what I want to do is put a decal on the wall. So again, if I look at my view where I'm looking at the just the walls that are in this view, you see here what I've done was uh, isolate the category. So picking a wall, isolate category, I'm just seeing the walls. But what I want to do now is go to the uh, the insert tab and I've got the two options on there that I'm interested in. One is to place a decal and then there's also the definition of the decal itself. So if I say, if I click on decal types, uh, you see that I've got some in here. I've got to say the crow or the television screen, but what I want to do is make a new one. So down on the bottom here, I can say create a new decal uh, duplicate an existing, delete, or rename. I'm going to say create a new decal. I'll call it uh, Oops, let's try portrait. Okay, and then if you see here, there's actually a chance to browse and establish the path to the image file. So what I want to do is uh, take a, take photographs and then have people create their own portrait inside the building that you're designing. So in this case, I am going to go to the location of my file. I've got it under a materials project, pick the image and then I can uh, just accept the values as they are. I've created the decal, now I'm going to say place the decal and I'm going to be able to identify where I want it to be on the wall. And I can kind of stretch it so if I, once I've placed it, if I select it, you'll see that I can grab those grips Oops, and change the size of the decal itself. Yeah, just try and pick it again. My graphics card wasn't updating, so it uh, only partially displayed. But there's the, the image on the wall, so if I go back to my living room east, it's kind of scary, <laughs> back to my living room east, they're not the section, the 3D view, I'm looking living room, looking at the north wall. Uh, let me change this a bit. I'm going to go look to kitchen, I think. It will show me the image on the wall at the back there. And then I can render in there. But you see that I can see the image on the wall itself. And I'm just going to point out one more thing here. Uh, this is an option that was, relies on you having uh, access to the internet. So I'm going to save that image, save to project. But I just want to remind you, if you're not familiar with this already, that you can, uh, if you, you've got access to the education website or you've got access to uh, the Autodesk 360, you can go to the view tab. Uh, sorry, you can go to the uh, yeah, the view tab and say render in the cloud. So you know you notice that it took like five minutes to make the image, or a bit longer than five minutes. I'm going to say render in cloud. I'm already signed in. It says there's three steps. I say continue. Um, I'm going to just say why don't you take all of the views that I've got in my browser. So all of these here. And uh, I'll say that I want them as JPEGs. Um, I want still images as opposed to an interactive panorama where I can turn my head inside the building and, and look around inside the space. Um, I want to say the render quality would be the very best that I can get. Uh, exposure ad advanced or native. The advanced will give me options on 
redoing the rendering. Um, the image size, I'm going to say maximum size, 2000 pixels. The format was my JPEG. Notify me by email when complete. So this is for all of these. I go start rendering. And I'll just say here, continue in background. So it's, it's going to send those off, but you notice that I'm already back in my project and I can continue to work. So this is a huge time saver. Um, and I'll, I wait for the notification of the an email and uh, show you what that looks like.